Here goes nothing. Oh no, no, no. Hi. Let's talk about fake food. I have been obsessed with miniatures since I've been a little kid. And today I'm going to make a smaller version of my box cupcake. So it's also going to double as a storage container. And I'm going to enlist the help of my buddies Spackle and Silicone. Nice to meet you guys. Actually, we've met. I've actually been filming a ton of different projects behind the scenes lately to try to get more videos up this year for you. I have a really cool project that I'm super proud of, but I didn't think I'd be able to get it edited in time for this coming Sunday. So I'm doing something that is a little bit less time intensive, AKA the mini cake, a paper mache round box. I've actually been wanting to make one of these for such a long time. About a month ago though, I saw a video by Bargain Bethany and I love everything that she makes. I seriously want to make everything that she created in the video. So much cute fake food. That's why all of a sudden I'm like fake cake. I've been seeing them around TikTok and Instagram stories a lot more too lately. Yeah. This was made in 2008. I got it from the thrift store a few months back. I already started filming a makeover for the Mariah Elizabeth paint set, but yet again, that was taking quite a while. So I've been kind of flip-flopping and jumping, jump hopping <laughs> back and forth between different projects. That episode was supposed to come out before this one, but hey, we just gotta roll with the flow. Roll, roll, I was about to say roll with the punches and go with the flow. Now we roll with the flow. Lots of exciting things to come, but for today, let's focus on this little bitty box here and make a cake. Let's get to it. Oh my gosh, no. First, I'm gonna open the spackle and you would think you could just take the lid off, but no, it says you have to use a screwdriver, which I'm just gonna use this pair of tweezers because I don't feel like getting any of the screwdrivers that are around here. Is this even possible? Oh, I think it'll work. Yeah, this will definitely work. Not me trying to open a lid for over two minutes because I'm too lazy to get a screwdriver. You win. Gosh. I got the screwdriver. The dumb screw. I shouldn't be mean to it. I'll be rude and then cut myself. Just kidding, you are lovely. And look, I don't wanna hear about how it only took me 30 seconds to walk up the stairs, open a drawer and walk back down. Gosh, it's so much easier. I'm so annoyed. We're in. Wow. Wow, this oh you. I need to hurry because this dries in 30 minutes. It looks really creamy. I like it. I got this pack of spreaders from Harbor Freight and there are three different sizes. I'm gonna use this one to get the spackle out of here and put it in this bowl. Ooh, it feels so cool. So much like frosting. That is so satisfying to scoop out of here. Kind of looks like sour cream. I want this little cake box to be a light pink color. Strawberry cake. Let's squirt a little bit in. Oh shoot, okay. Ooh. I feel like this could get messy, so where are my gloves? Gloves, gloves. Where did I put the box of gloves? Right Got my gloves and I probably should pull up my sleeves. I'm gonna mark it with a colored pencil. This way I know how far the lid goes down. I should have done this before mixing the paint into the spackle, but you live and you learn. I have a clear line on where not to spackle on the bottom part here. Let's get this mixed, shall we? I really like the color. It looks so pretty. Let's go ahead and I have the lid covered all the way, but I need to make sure that it's a little bit more smooth. I love how smooth it spreads. You can definitely see some of the paper mache popping through around the edges. That's fine because it's gonna get covered later. I'm trying, but it's not perfectly smooth. It's just really hard on this tiny edge. I really should move on to the base, just in case it starts to harden. That would be bad. No, it's still pretty workable. So on this, I'm just gonna go to the pencil line and, oh my gosh, it's on the bottom, come on. Some 
white. No. I'm glad I made enough frosting. Oh no, I almost dropped it. Oh, I can just set it down. <laughs> Definitely need a little more. Glob it on. All right, this is spreading really well. I'm gonna work on this for a few more minutes and then show you what I end up with. All the spackle is spread. It's not perfect. I feel like I should have one of those turntables and that would be a lot easier because I actually have made a layer cake before and I got the frosting to be better than it is here. Whoa. Oh my gosh, it's actually pretty good. Hopefully I can disguise a lot of this tomorrow when I add the decorations. It does say on the container that I'm supposed to let this dry for about 24 hours. So this is all I can do today. Stay tuned. It is the next day, the box is completely dry and the fake berries arrived in the mail. They don't look super realistic, but they are really cute. It's kind of big, so I'll probably just put one in the center here. Now for the moment of truth. Does the lid fit? It does. For the most part, it's pretty much completely covered in frosting. There's a little bit of gappage, I guess, where you can see some of the paper mache, but I'm pretty happy with it. I really thought that I was going to use silicone for the decorations, the piping on the cake. However, I see how matte this dried and Here's a little sneak peek of a project I am working on. The silicone does not. It dries pretty glossy and I don't think I want that contrast. So since I was able to store the spackle and the lid went back on, I just have the sandwich bag for extra protection just in case any air got in. I'm going to use this instead. First, I'm going to go ahead and prep my decorating bag. In a video that I have coming up, I didn't fold this down. Fold it down to put whatever you need to inside. Then I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the tip and I'm gonna place this metal star tip inside. That looks pretty good. Then I'm gonna grab some spackle, scoop it out. Oh wait, I do want my gloves. It's really difficult doing these kinds of projects when you film by yourself because I got resin on my camera yesterday. This time I'm not mixing a color in so if I don't have enough, I can add more and it'll be super easy. Then I'm gonna gather all this, push it all down to the end. There we go, ooh, yes. And now it is time to pipe. Ooh, I know for sure that I wanna have some around the top here. I feel like I should take the lid off so I can work on the lid and the base separately. So let's start on the lid. Here goes nothing. How big do I want these? Like that, I guess. It's not gonna be the greatest. <laughs> I'm trying though. My hair is in my face. Is this going over the edge? Oh my gosh, <laughs> wait, it'll be okay. But this stuff, I didn't realize it's not holding the shape. This stuff holds the shape much better than the spackle. Oh well, now I know, but hey, this is why you do things for fun and practice. Definitely glad that I separated this from the base. Oh my gosh, they're melting. <laughs> oh no, oh no, no, no. Everything's gonna be fine. Now for a berry. I'm gonna pick this one. I went ahead and pulled out the stem, but I do think I want the leaf on there. Hopefully it sticks though. Let's do a big dollop on top gonna go around and hope that it's the center. Oh my goodness. I don't know how centered that looks, but I wanna get it pretty tall like that. Ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, maybe not the leaf. I'm really skeptical about this. Ready? Bloop. Oh, it's so cute. Now I have to decide on pearls or little capuchons or something. I kind of went overboard with buying little shiny pearls. I have this set of white pearls. I'm going to place them all around. Let's try to do it directly across. And when I place these, I'm trying to push them in towards the strawberry because otherwise the frosting might 
sink off more. I kind of want to make this one poof out more. We'll do four more bigger ones. Now that I've placed quite a few of that size, which I believe are the eight millimeter, I'm gonna grab some that are a little bit smaller. I believe these are the six millimeter. Then I'm filling in the gaps with the next size down. I don't have any sprinkles yet, so maybe these really tiny colorful ones could work. Oh my gosh, these are so tiny. While the cake is drying, I'm gonna leave a couple of my most recent videos here just in case you haven't seen them yet. Go ahead and check out the link in the description box below or the iCard up in the corner. Now, the big reveal. This would make the perfect gift for someone in your life, whether it just be for a piece of decor or it can double, like I said, as a gift box so you can put something inside, maybe a message, some candy and then they can use it to display anywhere in their house. I'd like to make more of these and try a different type of spackle. I think the 30 minute dry might not have been the best choice. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of the day and I'll see you in my next video very soon. Bye. Um, don't mind me wearing sweatpants and slippers. <laughs> Bye.